When you're halfway through a challenge and you think that you just blew it, like falling off a log, just get up and don't poo-poo it. Adventure's loads of fun, seize them and pursue it. Take that leap of faith, find the will and do it. We can do it, we can do it. There's really nothing to it with help from our friends. here, gold magenta with some yellow and blue spots. Sam's coming over to have a frog boy action figure adventure with Captain Will. Aye, aye. It's our duty to turn this place into frog boy's headquarters so they can play. First thing we're gonna need is some frog boy adventure base assembling music. Hot, two, three, four, hot, two, three, four. A big adventure, what you need? Is a frog boy base camp? Yes, indeed. Sound off! One, two, a big adventure is our goal. Hut, two, three, four. We need frog boy vehicles ready to roll. Sound off! One, two, frog wheels tuned up mighty fine. Hut, two, three, four. Frog jet clear for takeoff time. Sound off! Three, four. A big adventure, you must group. Hut, two, three, four. without Sam. No problem. We can play without him. I'll be Picklesworth, your loyal British sidekick. Cheerio, Blimey, Bang and Smash, Big Ben, Parliament and all that. You'll be Frog Boy. But we can't have a Frog Boy adventure without a bad guy. We need Frog Boy's arch nemesis, the dastardly and very hairy Mad Mustache. And only Sam has a Mad Mustache action figure. I see the problem, but I propose it's a logical solution. Use one of your other action figures as a mad mustache and pretend. Behold the Closet of Heroes. Welcome to the first annual Mr. Mustache Competition. Let's meet our first contestant. He's been through a lot, but does he have what it takes to be the next mad mustache? Ladies and gentlemen, Motorcycle Mike! He doesn't have a mustache. Actually, I don't have any hair. Too tall, too small, too robotic, missing a head, too fluffy, too nice, too mean. I think that was the last one. You guys did great, but none of you have a mustache. And to be the mad mustache, you need one. Stomping Sam, time to go stomping. Stomping Sam loves to stomp. Stomp, stomp, stomp. Wow. With a mustache like that, he'd make the perfect pretend mad mustache. No mad mustache. Stompin' Sam! Right. Of course he's Stompin' Sam. Can do it and I borrow him so we can finish our adventure? I'm playing with Sam. Hey, gang. Okay, sweetie, you ready? Time to go to the mall and get you that new pink coat you need. Yay! New coat! Please, Kate, you're not even gonna be here to play with him. Pretty please with a cherry on top? Well... I promise nothing will happen to him. I'll give him back good as new. Okie dokie. But don't get him dirty or break him. Okay, we'll be back in an hour for dinner. Uh, if you're all going, who's staying home with me? That would be moi. Will you play Frog Boy with me? Sorry, champ. Can't do. It's my turn to make dinner. You have a mo 
most becoming, Mustache. May I have this dance? Be careful! You're dragging his feet around. And I promised Kate I'd take extra special care of him. Nothing can happen to him. No worries. I'll fix him up. Uh, Shine your shoes, Governor. Ribbit! Ribbit! Be careful! The Mad Mustache is around here! Great grotty gherkins, Frog Boy! There it is! The Mad Mustache's secret mustache base! I'll go check it out! Soon my plans for covering the world with one giant mustache will be complete! And I will rule! Covering the world in a giant mustache? That's the silliest plan ever! I don't like this game! Where's the trampling? The stomping? The jumping up and down on things? Stomp, stomp! Come on, just play along! It will be fun! You're the Mad Mustache! I don't want to be the Mad Mustache! I want to stomp! Stomp loud and stomp proud! Stomp! Come back here! You'll get dust bunnies and be dirty! It's too dark! I can't see! I'll find them! Stop! We need you to be the Mad Mustache! You're the only one with a mustache to do it! This thing? It isn't even real! Kate made it out of hair from her comb! I'm free! Free! <laughs> Stop! Stop! Ow! Ah! 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 Get it off me! I can't see! When did you grow that? He tricked me! That mad mustache is nothing but trouble. My name is Stompin' Sam. We've got to find him before Kate gets back. A clue. Tire tracks. Come on. You'll never make me wear that itchy, gross thing again. Never. Stop him, guys. We need another plan. Retreat. We got a problem. The Mad Mustache... Stop it, Sam! ...won't play fair. We need to put this mustache back on him. And we have less than an hour before Kate gets home. Does anyone have a plan? Nope, I don't have a plan. But I've got a plane. The Frog Jet is all ready to go. <laughs> you have clearance for takeoff. <laughs> You got some mighty fine stompers there, partner. Treat ya. Sure. I've always wondered what it would be like to have legs with pants. Ha <laughs> ha! Playtime is over, Mad Mustache, if that is your real name. I told you time and time again. It's Stompin' Sam. <laughs> Stop him, boys. Time to put Plan Itchy Mustache into place. Go, Team Frog Boy! Gotcha! Now put your mustache back on before Kate gets home. No way! I'm out of here! Time to test out my new stompers! Stomp! 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 Eject! Eject! Taking down the frog jet. Now he's gone too far! We'll get you, Mad Mustache! Stop and Sam! There he goes! You'll never catch me in my new stompers! Stop! 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 He's going downstairs! Please come down! I have to fix you! I promised Kate I'd give you back good as new! Too bad! I love my new stompers and I hate that itchy mustache! You try it on and see how it feels! Okay, fine! I will! Wow! That's itchy. But if you come down now, I'll tell Kate you don't like it. Hmm. You also got to convince her I get to keep the legs, too. <laughs> that is the worst sound ever. <laughs> no, stop. Please. It's horrible. Uh, Dad, my action figure sort of fell into your sauce. Hmm. Just the extra spice is needed. What do you call it? Stop it, Sam sauce. Quick, fix it! Kate could be home any minute! 
The legs and the mustache. Hurry! But I promised him. But Kate will be... New jacket. New jacket. Honey, we're home. Kate, I'm really sorry, but... Stumpin' Sam? Where's his mustache? He doesn't like it. It's too itchy. Too itchy? He's got monster legs. He likes them more. It makes him stomp better. Stomp better? Stomp and Sam sure can stomp. Stomp! Stomp! <laughs> stomp! Stomp! I'm sorry, Kate. I promised I'd give him back good as new when I messed up. Loud stomp! Loud stomp! Do you like him? You're not mad? I'm not mad. Stomp louder! Who did this? It's awesome! Look, Dad, my dinosaur's wearing pants! Who's hungry for Dad's patented hot dog pizza? Me, 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 me! Hot, two, three, four! A big adventure you must have! A sister who can lend her stomping Sam! Sound ah! One, two! We put Sam's new legs right in place! And pulled that mustache off his face! Sound ah! Three, four! When you borrow things that aren't your own! Gotta treat them right, cause they're just on loan! Sound ah! One, two! You didn't forget, did you? Huh? W forget? No, I'm ready to go. Let me get my keys. Where are we going? Uh, I don't know. Maybe I did forget. We're gonna practice for tomorrow's T-ball. The ball tomorrow, and I haven't got a thing to wear. You're a little too old for T-ball. You young whippersnapper! I'll show you who's too old! <laughs> But I did sign you up for tomorrow's tryout for a real baseball team. You did? Wow! I've got to practice. Still want to practice with me? As soon as I'm finished with my reading. Hey, guys, guess what? I'm going to try out for the baseball team. Great! <laughs> What's a baseball? What's a team? A team's when everybody plays together and wears the same uniform. Am I right, boys? Being on a team is the best you know Cause you can cheer for your teammate Go team go! Wearing running shoes or ice skates Go team go! As the team sport dictates Go team go! It's like a dream When you're on a team And being on a team feels great, you know Cause you can all play together Go team go! And you wear the same color Go team go! And your opponents wear another Go team! Get a color scheme when you're on a team But the best part of it all Is even when you miss the ball You can still feel ten feet tall Cause the team is One for all All for one and one for all Being on a team is great, you know Cause you can cheer for your teammates Go, 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 go practice baseball with me? I'd love to, Will, but I've got to make dinner. Still reading, I guess. Hey, Fred. Got time to practice baseball with me? My team's got a real practice. Sorry. Kate, don't suppose you want to help me practice baseball? Sure, if you play dollies with me. Maybe later. You're missing tea time. Yay, Will! Great noggin bonk. <laughs> How many scores is that? Oh, this is no good. I'll never get good enough to make the team. Will, I saw you practicing. And you want to practice with me? Nope, but I do have some... Pointers? Tips? Baseball secrets? Better, you can have my lucky bat, old wood chip, and Betsy, my lucky glove. You think they'll help? I've seen you practice. They couldn't hurt. I'll take really good care of them. Dad was a great player in his day, and I'm the star pitcher on my team. There's a proud Valentine tradition in baseball. Now it's your turn. Don't drop the ball. It says here, 
that the batter gets three strikes. How many was that? 102? I'll never hit the ball. Maybe I should try throwing. Ah! Oh, that was a great throw. I was aiming at wince. There's also catching. Let's try that. Do it. Throw wheel the ball. <laughs> I'm gonna let down the Ballantine name. Ooh, you're doing great, Will. Except for all the missing the ball when you catch and hit and throw, you're awesome! Hey, this is interesting. It says here that baseball is a game full of superstitions. It says superstitions mean baseball players have rituals, special things they do, and lucky objects that they think help them with their game. The furry baseball's absolutely right as rain. Never say rain before a double header. Turn around two times for good luck. So, I need good luck charms? This is lucky. Mostly lucky a horse isn't wearing it at the moment. This could be just the thing I need. Luck! Don't you still have to be able to play baseball? That's the whole point, do it. With the right lucky superstitions, I will. It says here, Deward, Stinky Schultz, didn't change his socks for his entire career. I wore these yesterday, close enough. Kevin the Cavity Kenner chewed the same piece of gum while hitting in 40 straight games. Hey, I'm working as fast as I can, pal. Union rules. Pancake McBride poured maple syrup on his hands before each game so his glove wouldn't fall off. I'm ready to practice. Okay, wearing smelly socks, mouth full of old gum, plus maple syrup. I'm ready. <laughs> I used the right superstition. Maybe with a bit more practice? I know. Let's try batting. Ugh. Ugh. Whoa, easy there, sport. Your hands are cold and sticky. Okay, Wince, put her over the plate. What happened? I was chewing stale gum and wearing smelly socks. I know what we need. More practice? More superstitions. Here's one I do. Before every game, say 17 words that start with M. Milk, monkey, money, motor, um... Mutton, mildew, marshmallow... That's 16. I can't think of any more. <gasps> more! That's an M! 17 N words! Bring it on! Huh? That's odd. 17 M's always works for me. So, no more superstitions? No more. Good night, do it. Some baseball players sleep with their bats and gloves for good luck. No more superstitions. It's bad luck to hog all the blankets. It's worse luck to not stay on your side of the bed. Good night. I can't remember my superstitions. Do I pour maple syrup on the ball? Or stick my gum on the bat? Or... Will, I am the baseball fairy. Follow me. What are we going to do now? A little something I like to call practice. First, batting practice. Swing hands, swing hips. Swing hands, swing hips. Hands, hips. Now you. Enough batting. Now, catching. Concentrate on imaginary ball. See it coming. Feel it coming. You dropped imaginary ball. How do you know? Watch my arms. Watch my hand. Here comes imaginary ball again. I caught it, right? Nope. Dropped it again. But close. Next up to bat, Will Ballantyne. 
Hey, are you one of the famous Valentines? Maybe. Uh-oh, I forgot my stale gum. And do I tap the bat four times before the pitch or three times after the pitch? What do I do? Swing hands, swing hips, just like practice. That hurt. Oh, uh, good hit, though. Nice cut, Valentine. Now get out in the field and let's see what you can do with your glove. I forgot the maple syrup. How am I going to catch the ball? My socks don't stink nearly enough to make up for that. Oh, what do I do? Now real ball. Much easier to see. Just like we practiced. Yeah. Woo -hoo. Great catch, Valentine. Hey, you could be the best one yet. Welcome to the team. <laughs> hey, how come I smell maple syrup? Hey, look, I made the team. And I got number five on my uniform. <gasps> oh, is that your lucky number? Nope, just the number. Luck's got nothing to do with it. Being on a team is the best you know. Cause you can cheer for your teammate. Go team, go! It's like a dream when you're on a team. But the best part of it all is even if you miss the ball, you can still feel ten feet tall. Cause a team is one for all! Being on a team is great cause you can cheer. Go team, go!